Hi, I'm Barry Klein, and welcome to the next episode of Trendsetter Times. You started with us a couple of months ago when we introduced you to everything that we do at the Trendsetter Yarn Group. We had Trendsetter Yarns, Lana Grossa, GGH, Cardiff Cashmere, and more. This time we're a little more focused. We just finished up on our mystery yarn trip. We did a knit along. We did lots of things for you, including things that exposed you to all of our product. And today, we are finishing up fall, winter, and heading right into spring, summer. So we're gonna jump right in. We're gonna start with one of our first yarns for Trendsetter, and it's called Alpha. It's called Alpha because it's premier in the collection. It's the first one. And what's really fun about it is the construction. One of the things we always recommend is that when you're taking a yarn, find the end and start to take it apart. Look at it and see what construction is done. That adds to the viability of every yarn. In this case, it's a cotton base, and inside of it are three different colors of metallic. We put the metallic in because it's a flat texture, and as you do each stitch, you're going to get a really beautiful touch of metallic. Kind of a little swatch, you can see the textured stitch. I'll put it up against me so you can see it. And pattern stitches with knits and pearls, all different details. It's a very extensive color range that you can play colors off of each other. And we'll show you lots of sweaters along the way with each of these yarns as we go through them. And with Alpha, it's a 100 gram skein, 385 yards, and it's somewhere around a DK. It's really beautiful yarn, and it's the beginning of what we've got for you today. So one of the first garments we've done for the season in Alpha is this pullover. We kept it very, very classic. I'm not sure how much of it will show up in the light, but there is a sparkle and there's a detail. In fact, you can see it now. There's little specks of glitter and glimmer that happen within the knit. So we kept it simple in stockinette and we went to ribbing for the sleeves. But because we always believe in leaving a lasting impression, we put the ribbing in a great little detail right across the back. We kept it simple because the yarn is simple and it's really, really fun just to play with textures. The next sweater that we did in Alpha is this one. And in this case, we've mixed it. We've mixed it with a Lana Grossa yarn called Sololino. So the body of it is Alpha. Again, you lift it up and you can see how that beautiful, beautiful texture just comes in with that touch of sparkle when the light hits it. It's a classic jacket until you get down to the details. We've done some tuck stitching down here, mixing Sololino in a matching color against the blue. And because we know that one size doesn't fit all, fit all, the best part of the garment is right here on the side. So between the front and the back, we've done a gore and it fits so that you can change your size. There's a really beautiful pocket. You can keep your hands in your pockets, but here's where all the sizing comes in right there. Wonderful play of color on color texture in the tuck stitches. We're gonna continue on with basis. Basis is the next yarn in the collection. And in this case, it is also a cotton base. One of the things that we like to do with our yarns is not make them only for one season. We like to do them so that they're seasonless. In this case, it's a cotton base. And inside the cotton, we've put brushed alpaca and a touch of cashmere. The strands are all twisted together. And what we've done to make it even more interesting, and in some cases, it's against a white base. And in others, it's a black base. So we have things for every texture, every skin tone, and every season. And swatches of each one of them. What's really beautiful about it is that the shading in it is tone on tone, and the color ch changes and the tones all happen at random. There's no rhyme or reason, it's all done computerized, so that part of the design is keep it simple and let the yarn do the work. And here's a couple of skeins to show you all that happens with basis. So here's the white and here's the black, each one of them having different shades blended in. It's all about interest, all about texture, and with Trendsetter Yarns, all about fun. And here's one of the first garments we've done in basis. What we've done with it is we've done it early, so I haven't even had a chance to put the buttons on here yet. But there are two buttonholes so that it stays closed up here and is free to open up and spread at the bottom. And as you can see, the color changes are all at random. This is one colorway. It's the fuchsia and gray. They alternate in the spread of colors and in the texture. We've done a yarn over, knit two together, and we've done a really pretty little ridged stitch. 
We've kept it simple. And what happens is you have to be one of those people who doesn't care that the stripes don't match going across. Not everyone's free like that, but trust me, it's worth it. So those are the two fronts. And that's the detail for the back. And in this case, the stripes go all the way. They're all at random, so they stop and start. So on the next sweater, out of basis, we've used basis for the top part of the sweater. And at the bottom, we've mixed our brands. So we used Lana Grossa, Echo Puno at the bottom. Same fiber content, one dyed in solids, one dyed in shaded colors. And what we've done here is we've broken it up because a lot of us don't like stripes going all the way across the body. We've done one ball here and another ball here. It's seamed up the middle, or if you, because you can do it as a cardigan, if you prefer it as a pullover, use one ball to the middle, twist it, and use another ball coming across in the opposite direction. A really fun detail is the thumb hole. So right here, when you put your arm in, your thumb will come right out of there. It's just a really nice little opening that's there. Keeps the sweater sleeves long, looks really nice on the arm, and it adds a nice little detail. In this case, we've mixed basis with a yarn from GGH. So it's got a little bit of a shine on the bottom, two different colors in solids, and they blend really well with the brown and gray, again, with the black base. The stripes go across the body, but because they're short rows in the bottom here, it's not a perfect straight hem. You can see how it's angled. So it sits very differently on the body. It's got a great look to it, and it is oversized, so that as you move, the fronts are gonna spread or they're gonna overlap even more. And it just depends on you and how you wear it. We kept the sleeves short using one color on one side, one on the other to tie the whole piece together. And in this piece, what we've done is we've played with ribbing. So as you can see at the bottom, we did a big wide rib. At the top, in order to bring it in, because we did no armhole shaping, we went to a smaller, more narrow rib. So it's more fitted across the top, flares out at the bottom. We've also, again, not put buttons on here yet, but the jewelry will be added to this sweater. This is one of the happiest colors I've ever seen. Gorgeous shades of gray and yellow, and this is based off of white and not black. So this screams spring, summer, it screams happy, and we kept the sleeves in the smaller pattern as well. Just a real simple classic jacket. So we're gonna continue on from here with Chin Chin. And Chin Chin is one of our precious yarns. It's been with us for probably almost 20 years now. And it's called Chin Chin because in Italian, the word Chin Chin means cheers. It usually has a glass of champagne, you clink it together, and it's an anniversary or a celebration for something that you love. And what's new about it is that the newest colors have a different dye structure. So normally, it's all twisted and tweeted. In the new colors, and there's three of them, they are shaded so that the color and the dye sequence changes from color to color within the skein. And here's a sample ball. So you can see that it goes from oranges and browns to plums and grays to a really beautiful celery shade. So instead of it being just a bundle of colors, it's shaded colors that moves along the way. And we have some finished sweaters again that will show you what we've done with it. Chin Chin to you and Chin Chin to us. We love Chin Chin and it will be with us forever. And here's one of the pieces that we've done in Chin Chin. There's another one that has Chin Chin mixed and blended. In this case, we mixed it with Luna, which is a beautiful sequin yarn. So it takes the matte multicolors in Chin Chin and adds a sparkle to it. We've done really simple bind offs and cast ons. So it almost looks like Swiss cheese. And yes, I'm hungry. Swiss cheese sounds really good right now, but that's the effect that we got in our knit here. It sits over your shoulders, it makes a great cowl, it'll dip and blend any way that you want it on your body. The next one is merengue. And indeed, we called it merengue because the minute we saw it, we were all standing in the room doing a happy dance. What's fun about merengue is the design of the yarn. So here's the skeins. You can see how diverse the skeins are. They change from one shade to the next, color to color, and again, all at random. What we like at Trendsetter is letting the yarns tell the color story. The best part about it, I'll show you now, and that is some of the knit swatches. It has fantastic yardage, 310 yards. And just as an example, here's one of the colorways, and this is one ball. So from dark to light, 
you're going to get every single one of the color changes. And I won't go through them all here for you, but they will be on the website for you to see. And they just are really, really fun. The best part about this is that coming up in a couple of months, we have LYS Day. It's something that we do all around the United States. It stands for Local Yarn Store Day, and this is our LYS Day yarn. The best part about it is that on the day of LYS Day, the patterns will be online for free. So you can register on Trendsetter, you can go on Ravelry, and we'll make sure that you get certain patterns specifically for merengue, so you indeed can do your happy knitters dance as well. So in merengue, we've shown you the picture of the jacket that we've done. Unfortunately, the jacket's out on a runway right now, so I don't have the physical piece to show you. But what I've got are some of the knit swatches showing all the dynamics of the colors. So it starts out with white color bridges that come in, and then it spreads and goes darker. And that happens with every one of our colors. Each one of them tells another color story, from grays to golds to olives, purples, blues, and then that's it. There's a beautiful red. So within this, you'll see everything online. This is just a sneak peek and a preview and a little close-up of where we're heading with merengue. One of the next new yarns is one that we fell in love with the minute that we picked it up. And it's called Pure Love. And it is pure. It's a beautiful blend of 80% merino and tussa silk. The two fibers are blended together, spun into strands, the strands are twisted, and from there the yarn is dyed. So you get a solid background with silk tufts that come out of it. It's a really big color range. It's very diverse, and in fact, here's the color card for it. So we've done it very big. We've done it in shades of colors because we believe in this yarn for all year round use. It also is great for wearable and also for home decor. And most companies focus only on one or the other. In this yarn, it's good for all year round and you can use it for any part of your lifestyle. It's a beautiful worsted weight and it's a really nice yarn to work with. It's a 100 gram skein, 195 yards, and perfect for everyday life. So this is one of the first pieces that we finished in Pure Love. This was designed by a friend of mine, Jan Runkel, an incredible designer and knitter. And I gave her the idea, I said, have free reign and go for it. And she played with color and texture. So we went with two very opposite colors, black and white, tweeted them, and changed it from side to side. We kept the sides very, very different, the other thing that I love about it is we don't often knit things for men. This style wouldn't fit most men, but this is a design that I would do for myself. This is done in pure love, and it is pure love to wear. It feels super, super soft, a really easy stitch pattern, and you can see the texture and colors that come out from a classic yarn. So the next sweater in pure love is a cardigan. And as you can see, we started at the bottom with cream. We changed colors as we came up, and the cream plays on each of the border pieces. So it's framing the body. It's got a really beautiful raglan, and it plays with the contrast. It's also a great cardigan. So your edges and borders are built right in as you go. It has an A-line in the style, so that it's wider at the bottom, narrower at the top, and the raglan structure makes that play out even more. We kept this really simple, really classic. It's all done in stockinette, but this is a jacket that you can wear forever. It's a perfect, perfect part of your wardrobe. It's got a wonderful collar that folds back. It'll also stand up. It can be worn any way that you want. And now we continue on with the last piece in pure love in this collection. There will be more once the book's done, but for the moment, this is what we have ready to show you. Basic stockinette in the middle, a really beautiful eyelet that leads up to the neck. So what this is doing is it's framing your body. It's moving up to your face. It makes you very important. It also makes you long and lean because of the really fun rib that's in here. It's a really wide rib, and the sleeves are classic. Just a really nice, simple sleeve. Again, a pullover, really wearable, and really, really fun. Now you can see all the detail that happens as it comes up the body. And then the last new yarn for Trendsetter for spring-summer is called Streamers. And what happens with streamers is many of you are familiar with Transitions. It's a yarn that we did a few years ago, and this is a new version of it. And what we've done is it's plied cotton. The colors, when they change, they're layered one over the other, and they're sewn together so that there's no tails. There's no way to hide anything, and there's nothing to have to worry about. It's really, really secure. 
and it's two different color stories and they alternate from one to the other. So you can see in the color card itself how the different colors tell a color story. But more than looking at a color card, it's being able to see it. So this is the before. It's showing different shades of blacks to grays, oranges to peaches to greens, and when it's crocheted, that's the effect. So you can see that all of the streamers and all of the crocheted loops change from one to the next. They're not separate colors added on, but it's the yarn used just as it comes off the skein. And in another one, this is all the baby blue colors, the pastels, the peaches, the little bit of mint greens and blues against blacks and grays as well. And here we're crocheting a big granny square. And that's the effect. So it starts in the center, it works out, and the color changes happen all on their own. So in this case, we started out by making a really beautiful chain. The chain is the part that runs all the way across the top, and then we come back and we attach as we do by working into each stitch. It's not separately attached, but it's crochet attached in, in the technique. And different size chains, you do multiple stitches in each one, and they curl. So they're curly cues, and you can see how it's telling the color story and the flow of the colors just as it comes off the ball of yarn. It's just really, really beautiful. You can play with it. Again, this is one of those things where the yarn does the work, and this is designed to be worn as a scarf. So it just goes around your neck. You can wrap it a couple times. Um, right now, it kind of looks like a plant. So really, really fun. Wear this to Hawaii, and it looks like a flower lay as well. Really, really colorful yarn. So we continue on with some more accessories in streamers. You can see this color story that it's telling as it changes colors. Two different colorways, so every other is greens and every other is blues. We just did it as it came right off the ball. We added wonderful details on the bottom and it just continues piece to piece. We let the colors do their job, nice, simple, and easy. Just a great wrap, can be worn as a wrap, a shawl, a scarf. It could be made narrower, all up to you. The pattern will give you every option that you need. We continue on with the crochet theme, also in streamers. We do a chain down the center, and then we come back, and it's like a big granny square, but it starts out narrow and rectangular. And we keep working around and around, letting the colors change as it motions around. So it's about two thirds of the way done now. You can see when I open it up, that as with all granny squares, it's reversible. We got a few little tails sitting in here for you. But other than that, just a really classic piece. Be a great table runner. It's designed as a wrap. It would be perfect for the bed. I would love to have this as a throw to snuggle up with every night. The yarn is super, super soft, 100% cotton. And I love the fact that the colors are telling the color story for me. So there's always gonna be more. Make sure you keep checking back with Trendsetter Yarns all the time. So now I'm just gonna take you on a little journey through some of the things that we've done in yarns from previous seasons that are moving forward. This is one of our favorites in the hand dye collection. It's called Recycled Linen. It is like Sololino, but what we've done is we've taken the natural yarn and we've dyed it multicolors. This piece uses three different colors. We do two rows each of at the bottom, then we lose one and add another one in the middle, and lose one and add the third at the top. And they just keep alternating. The best part about it is the shaping. So we've done internal darts. They're right here, so that it's flared at the bottom, gets narrower as it comes up. The beauty of this is the way that it fits on the body. And again, haven't had a chance to sew the, the jewelry on there, but it will be on there. And it's fun telling a color story. But what's really fun about the yarn is what we've done next. So as you can see right here, we have one color that's the same. This is a wrap. It stays the same consistency the entire way, ribbed on the sides when it's done, it's done. But it looks like you've played with details and stitches in here, or that you've played with different tones, but indeed we haven't. What we've done is we've taken a hand dyed yarn and we've done a technique called color diffusion. So it's a special gel that we do and you freeform the design on here. You leave it for about 10 or 15 minutes and it gets washed out. And when that happens, all the dye that we put in to hand dye it now gets washed out and it creates a really, really fun detail right in. And each color gels up and shades differently. 
and this is just a fun technique on this yarn. It needs certain yarns and special yarns to do it, and this is one of them, and it's called Color Gel Diffusion. So continuing on, this is another one from the hand dyed collection. This is Autumn Wind print. Autumn Wind is 90% cotton, 10% cashmere. The cashmere is combed into the cotton and then the strands are spun. And in this case, again, we've picked three colors. We've done two rows of each, drop one, add another color, two rows of each, drop one, and it continues to change throughout. So every 20 to 30 rows, it changes. So you don't get broad color patterning, you get subtle color patterning that runs the entire length of the garment. We broke up the patterning with a little bit of lace, some reverse stockinette and stockinette. So we kept it really, really simple to create a really beautiful classic cardigan. Another one of the yarns that carries over from fall, winter into spring, summer is a yarn called Icon. And it transitions over really easily because the base of it is again cotton, it has brushed alpaca, and the best part about it, and we'll see if it shows, yep, little sparkles that happen from baby sequins that are inside the yarn. When the light catches it, it sparkles. When the light doesn't catch it, you don't even know that it's there. So for the glitter queens, make sure you stand under the sunlight or lights. And for those of you who like a little sparkle but not too much, well, just be careful where you're standing. We've done a classic shawl. It's a wrap that goes ribbed all the way. It's a nice long piece. And once that's done, we pick up the stitches all the way around the entire outside edge. It's worked circular the entire way increasing stitches as you go in the corners so that it ruffles. When it's done, it just folds over, has a great little ruffle all the way around, and it hugs the body. Just a really beautiful accent piece that can be worn as a scarf, gathered, and let the ruffle flare, or as a wrap. We're gonna focus now on some things that we've put on mannequins. Throughout the talk, you've seen them in the background. Now I wanna talk about why they're here and what's so special about them. This is a really neat shawl that we've done. It's knit as a wrap style. It's done from side to side. We've done three different yarns. These are all from the past collection. One of them is Chin Chin using the new Super Stripe section. It's got Fleur, which is a cotton viscose, and it's got Silk Hair Lusso. Two rows, two rows, and one row. So you're moving your stitches from side to side in order to carry the colors across. Stockinette in the body, and up on top, it's done in reverse stockinette. So you're playing color and texture. They're two separate pieces taller in the back, narrow in the front, and then it comes all the way around so that when you're wearing it, now you can see what the total piece looks like. Stripes in all different directions, stockinette to reverse. It's the perfect accessory with a great drape on the body. The next sweater that we're gonna talk about uses bases from Trendsetter, and we've mixed it along with Echo Puno from Lana Grossa. The two yarns are exactly the same. Ours is multicolors, theirs is solid. It's a cotton base, and it has that beautiful brushed alpaca mixed into it. We let the colors play from side to side. We broke it up between multis and solids, and the best part is there's a really neat pocket. The pocket is also two different tones. Great place, everyone's always looking for things to put for phones, for keys, maybe even your knitting if you're knitting while you're wearing it. But one of the features that I love the most is this little detail on the back, and that is the back has a hem that sits a little bit longer. So there you go, you can see, just a really neat tailored hem. The ribbing is the same length front to back, it just starts a little bit lower. Covers the tush when you want it to be covered. A few moments ago, we were looking at the color card, and what we did when we looked at it is we showed you the before in the ball and the different things that we've done with it. Well, here's another before and after. This is the ball, not worked, beautiful 150 gram skein ball, and here's the same color worked from top to bottom. It's worked in a beautiful raglan. It plays two different colorways against each other, yellows to greens to orange against grays to black. The yarn runs the same color to color, ball to ball, and it's completely up to you where you want the colors. And all of that says it in the pattern. In this case, we made the sleeve separate, one shade on one side, one shade on the other. So stick with us, look at our patterns, and we'll walk you through the process so you have something really, really beautiful like this sweater out of Streamers. What we're looking at now is a beautiful poncho knit out of pure love. And the minute you touch this yarn and you get it in your hands and you knit it, indeed, it is pure love. It's knit from side to side around the body, and it's done with beautiful short rows that create little pizza pie shapes in here. 
It's angled with increases and decreases, and it stays in garter stitch across the top. So it creates the beautiful neck shaping and the neck drape. So what you're seeing now is the elongated side. But here's the back side. So this was my cast on. It was worked all the way around the body, and this was your bind off. Your only seam is right here. And you can wear this putting the pleat and the design any way that you want on your body. Four skeins of yarn and you get something beautiful that you will fall in love with and you will agree it'll be pure love. So that's what we've got for you from Trendsetter Yarns for Spring Summer 2020. Hard to say that out loud, 2020. Can't believe it, it's here. So thanks for coming along with us. Stand by because we've got more to show you. This is just the beginning of what we've got at Trendsetter Yarn Group.